Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And we're still continuing the build up of our character so they're able to take on the harder quests such as Umbra and Forgotten Seasons. So, in that, we'll be getting uh, Groff the Goblin, a, a great help for your low level character. And I'll explain why later on. Anyway, let's go get it. Okay, so we've just got our staff of Hazardoki and. Uh, time to do a little bit of traveling I think now I mean I I know quite a few people don't like having pets or followers but uh, you know when you're a low level and you're trying to get these things quite quickly um, you know they, they really do help and I must admit before this uh, mod came out I uh, I always used to go and get a, a reekling I don't know, I just like them. Okay, so. How strange. A quest starts with another note found in a random place. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. But... And your flagons filled with your vile... Yeah, they really should start working on the, uh, the quest a little bit harder. I think it's obviously the easiest way to do it. Handmaiden of kind. No, no, Marimo. We talked about a lot of people are requesting like a notice board say somewhere in I don't know where run or maybe all the major cities that you can go and pick up these quests from that's uh, be nice to got a little bit more imaginative wouldn't it okay so we've been nowhere near it Thief. Uh, put a bit of light on this and uh, I'm not sure this is the right place to go from. I think I've made a boo-boo. Yeah, I think I made a boo-boo there. It doesn't matter. It's a Skyrim horse. I can swim, climb mountains. You know, I'm pretty cool.
The old rift is really pretty. Come on, come on, girl, you can do it. Good girl. Never should have come here. <laughs> well done, Nico. And here we are. So the weird thing about this uh, this mod is um, obviously I have it installed in every playthrough, but I never see any other goblins around Skyrim. I thought there'd be like little random attacks here and there and you know stuff like that. Oh, you wouldn't get in the way, aren't you? Oh yeah, you are. You're gonna send it away. You awkward little bastard. Okay. Yeah, let's play with this. I mean, to be fair, like most stars, I, I think they're more effective when you play in the first person, not third person like I do. There you go. God, I feel sorry for them. They're weak as anything. Uh, make sure you pick up the mushrooms and stuff like that here. Bone milk, nom nom. <laughs> it doesn't do much damage. Yeah, do you see what I mean about the soul trap? If they die within 60 seconds, they're meant to be soul trapped. Again, no soul trap there. So I don't think, I think that's bugs. I don't think it works. Um, I've got to check it. Have some empty. Um... Oh. Yeah, definitely worth checking. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I've got to carry some empty, and only empty um, soul gems on it. But I got the feeling it's bugged. Oh, 
Okay, there's not really much in here. Level one, hope I brought. My mouse is playing. I need to get a new mouse. It's playing up. Grab as many as you can. There's quite a few around here, it should do you for quite a long time. And I'm guessing they respawn. And you get a, like a goblin's head staff, which does, I think, the chain lightning uh, spell, um, which is pretty good. In fact, I think it's very good, actually. Here we have our beloved little goth. Now I'll explain to him later. I'll explain later on why I think he's def definitely worth getting, uh, especially like I say at a, a low level. as possible. Oh, missed them. What did I? No. This may becoming more crap, but the uh, the hit boxes on these are getting tend to be getting smaller. Okay, what we got here? Nom nom. One of the first lessons I've ever learned in Skyrim always pick up ingredients, even more so than loot. Okay, that's it. We got our little follower. So uh, let's see what it's all about. Okay, so now we have this little beauty, is he worth it? Well, in my original review, I really wasn't sure about him. However, I would now say yes, and for several reasons, and especially at a very low level. Now, he's weak, but he is essential. This means he will constantly get knocked down, but he will get up again and continue the fight. And more importantly, he brings an Atronach to the fight, which is a, a massive boost, especially if you've taken my advice and made an 
the de- a Natronex staff at the forge, which effectively means you have two Atronex on your side. Now, the idea is to let your enemies be d- distracted by Goff and his Atronex while you chip away at your enemy or escape. Now, I s- I'll still say that a Reekling is a better option once your smithing and enchanting is high, because you can give them armour, enchanted armour and, and enchanted weapons. Um, and they'll be a more viable pet throughout your game. However, for PC players, there is a mod that I've just started using where Goth levels with you up to level 40, which makes him far more useful as you progress through your game. Now, the one thing I really don't like is you can't send him home. He will always return to Grob's Pass if you dismiss him. Not a big deal, I guess, but it's a bit of a pain. Um, I'd rather I could just send him to my home. But all in all, I think he's an absolute great asset. And again, as I said before, especially uh, at the beginning of a playthrough. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one and uh, love you.